Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? It is your boy back at it again. Thank you for tuning into the video today. So as you can tell from the title, my Ford F-150 has already gone back to the shop for the second time within three months since I've got the truck. And it's very, very disappointing, but uh, they finally got everything fixed with it again for the second time. Um, before we go pick it up, I just wanted to go over like a few details on what's been happening and why we've been so inactive on the channel lately. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know already, I've actually just purchased a 2020 uh, Roush Supercharged Ford F-150. And so I bought the truck, I'm looking at my video, it looks like it was posted on April 17th, so that's around whenever I got the truck. About two weeks after I had the truck, uh, my air conditioner had stopped blowing cold. And, um, and when I took it to the Ford house, they checked it out for me, they let me know that the air conditioner compressor did burn up. So if you're not too familiar with superchargers, uh, you might not know, but the uh, superchargers are run off of a belt system. And so on the front, there's a pulley that is moving that belt constantly. And the other end of the belt that's not connected on the pulley is actually connected to the air conditioner compressor. And so I'm not exactly sure why uh, the truck is burning the compressors, but it's something to do with that belt system from the supercharger. And so, like I said, last time that it burned up, uh, I actually was two weeks following April 17th, so probably towards the end of April. Um, I took the truck back to Ford. They did let me know that the air conditioner compressor had burned up, and so they were gonna replace the compressor, and then they were gonna, it was gonna be good to go, they said. So I got the new compressor on there, I picked up the truck. The air conditioner did blow cold, it was working perfectly, but it only worked for about two weeks again. So like two weeks following that, the air conditioner compressor did break again, and that was around whenever I made my last video. Um, it was a couple of days following my last video, the air conditioner just would not blow cold anymore. So I was just like, I'm freaking believable. All right guys, so like I said, the air conditioner compressor was the problem the first time, so I took it to the Ford house, they got that all fixed up for me, and when I picked it up, the air conditioner was blowing perfectly cold, no complaints. But then about three days later, following me picking the truck up and me filming my last vlog, um, the air conditioner compressor literally burned up again for the second time. So, like I said, uh, I'm not exactly sure of the reason why the compressor is burning up. Obviously, it has something to do with the supercharger because, as I stated before, the belt literally runs to the air conditioner compressor. So, it's something with that supercharger turning. Uh, maybe it's turning the compressor too fast and it's burning it up. I'm not really sure. But, um, like I said, I dropped it off at Ford. Um, Alright, guys. And so, like I said, the air conditioner compressor did burn up for the second time. And really, I couldn't tell you honestly the exact reason why that's happening. Um, like, like I stated before, the supercharger belt runs to the air conditioner compressor. So it could be, obviously it's something to do with the supercharger. Maybe it's turning the air conditioner compressor too fast. I couldn't really tell you. But um, I dropped the truck off at Ford again. And so it's been there this time for about two weeks. And so that's why I've been so inactive on the channel. Like this really, really sucks because I was really happy about getting that truck because I knew that it was gonna have awesome content in store for the channel and everything. But so far it's just, it's just been a pretty, you know, a, a rough time. And so um, with that being said, Ford actually called me today and they let me know that the truck is ready for me to go pick it up again. So now uh, we're actually gonna head to the Ford house again so that way I can pick it up. Um, and whenever I get there, I am gonna talk to my service technician. That way he can give me a rundown on like exactly what they had to do to fix it. Um, they did let me know that it shouldn't be a problem after today in the future, but I just wanna like kinda see what they did. That way I could just know in my mind what's going on and everything like that. And so um, yeah, like I said, the truck's already done. We're about to head out in a second to go pick it up. And so I will see you guys once we get to the Ford house. All right guys, so I just got to the Ford house. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, talk to my service guy real quick and then I will be right back on camera with you guys. All right guys, so I just talked to the service man at Ford. He gave me these records that we're gonna go over in a second and uh, I'm here getting the truck right now. Uh, let's hop in this thing so that way I can uh, go over all the stuff that they talked to me about. All right guys, so I just got back in the truck and the air conditioner is blowing perfectly, which I'm super, super happy about. And I just wanted to show you guys my service records really quick so you guys can know what's going on like I was saying. So as you can see, it says, see the ticket opening date was May 6th and the closing date was um, August the 13th. And the mileage that I brought it in at was 500 mileage out, which is the current mileage, 1,625. And the reason why there's such a gap is because I did pick it up once before the first repair and then had to bring it back um, again. And so um, from the service records right here, it says 
This was the first time uh, heating and air conditioner is not blowing cold. Uh, vehicle is okay to be released on 619. Roush is paying for repairs, installed a new clutch, and installed a new compressor. And then um, verified uh, concern found AC clutch should be burnt due to aftermarket pulley for supercharger. Um, replaced clutch and fuel coil, AC is still not operational. Upon further inspection, Roush had supplied the incorrect pulley for the compressor, um, which is the pulley on the air conditioner compressor, obviously. Contacted Roush to obtain correct pulley. Installed um, the second pulley to compressor and AC was operational. Vehicle came back for same concern again and found that AC clutch um, to be burnt. Contacted Roush, Roush once more and was sent a different pulley and compressor. Installed new compressor and pulley combo, retest and concern no longer present. And so as you can see right here, Roush had to pay uh, $2,042.99 $2, on one repair. And then on the other one, um, added operation, tech installed new AC clutch and clutch would still not engage. Upon further investigation, the incorrect um, AC pulley had been installed, contacted Long MacArthur slash Rouse Performance, um, were sent the correct pulley and AC clutch functioning okay. So um, what you can take from that is that, yeah, I brought it back twice. The air conditioner clutch has burned up uh, twice. I guess, as you can see from there, it's because the incorrect air conditioner pulleys were on there from Roush, which is really, really unfortunate. But um, they did let us know that it should be good from now forward because they said that it for sure has the right parts on there. So hopefully they were correct and hopefully they did get all the right parts on there this time uh, because it's really unfortunate that I have to keep bringing it back. But obviously when you're dealing with a truck, you know, like this with a supercharger on there, obviously that's something, you know, that can happen. All right, guys, so I am pulling out of the Ford house now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and head home and conclude the vlog. Uh, but on the way there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a few pulls for you guys. All right guys, so that is gonna conclude today's video. I just wanted to get you guys updated on why I've been so delayed on pumping out content and also just give you a quick update on the truck. And so I've got a lot of awesome content planned for you guys. I'm gonna be lowering this truck very, very soon. And I've also got a lot of awesome content planned for my BMW E46 in the future. So if you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you had a good time on the video, please make sure to leave a like. And uh, like I said, appreciate you guys watching very, very much. We just recently hit 1,700 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the support and I will see you guys on the next video.